Hey, hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. In the previous video, we beat Booster and his weird wedding cake, and we got Princess Peach, of all people, to join Mario's team. So we're going to swap Princess Peach in for... Uh, Gino, I guess? There we go, we'll just see how what Princess Peach can do in battle. Speaking of Princess Peach, if we press the Y button... Uh, no. Yeah, the Y button, this one right here on the controller. Uh, we can have access to two new moves, Therapy and Group Hug, which are both healing items. Uh, he therapy heals one, Group Hug heals all. Uh, so, to the many, many people in my life who have told me to do therapy, well, now I can. I, I unlocked the move, finally. So, there we go. In today's video, we're going to begin by heading off to the Frog Pond, or the Tadpole Pond, rather. Um, and speaking to Mallow's, uh, adoptive grandfather, uh, because we need to know, uh, what to do next, where to go next, where we can find, uh, another star. Okay, Mr. Mr. Grandfather. Hey, Grandpa, have you heard anything about the star pieces? Well, if it isn't Mallow, I do have the latest news about falling stars, in fact. A large star has been sighted on Star Hill. Hmm, it does seem likely that a star piece would fall there. We should go explore Star Hill right away. Alright, thanks for the hint, Mr. Mallow's grandfather. Good to see you always. Of course, Mallow is not blood related. Not, that was weird. Is not blood related to uh, that frog. But uh, that is unimportant because they, they are good friends nonetheless. He, the, that, that, that frog really raised Mallow. And so credit where credit is due. He's, he's done a service. All right, we're going to head off to Star Hill, though. Oh, you know what? Cancel that. We're going to go back to Booster Pass. Uh, because there was something that changed in Booster Pass like three videos ago, I think. And we never followed up on it. So consider us officially following up on it. You may be wondering, what is it? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, we got an Artie Choker. Okay, good good to see. We also are going to get to see Princess Peach in action. So if we go to special, she has therapy and group hug, which is uh, for healing. And her, she, she gives a slap. Cool. She's obviously a, a bit of a healer. If we were to categorize people, my assessment, Mario's like an all-rounder. Peach is a healer. Bowser's like a tank. Mallow's uh, like a mage. And I think Gina's supposed to be like a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, if that is even a thing in this game. I don't know. Fun fact about glass cannon. I used to like the term glass cannon so much that I would, um, well, let me read, let me read this first. Monster list agent, three frog coins per write-up. Okay. Uh, I used to, uh, play this game with one of my friends. It was called Forge Quest. It was on Steam. It was like a, kind of like a pixel voxel sort of, um... What did that do for me? I don't think that accomplished anything. Let me investigate again. Um, it was like a pixel art, voxel kind of like Legend of Zelda-ish game. Is sort of what it was like. And I wanted to be a glass cannon so badly in the game that I I simply... I simply just unequipped my character, like, items. I'd be like, well, I'll just be a glass cannon. And I just wouldn't give myself, like, armor and stuff. Which is not at all how glass cannon works. You, you need to still have gear to make yourself better. Glass cannon is just the name of someone who can deal a lot of damage, um, but does, doesn't have the highest like HP. Is the intention of a glass cannon. But I'm just a goofball. Okay, so by the way, that was the triple move. That was uh, the Mario Bowser uh, Peach triple move. And so it was very good. Let's see, we need to rotate L for more damage so we can scare all these guys off. Uh, we will eventually see the one for uh, Peach, Mario, and Gino, as well as Peach... Uh, I think there's one for Peach, Mallow, Gino as well. Oh gosh, we're getting Doom Reverb, and I'm probably going to run from this battle. Never mind, it missed. L. So bad. Scare him again, I guess. I have a lot of those uh, FP boosters, and so I'm kind of waiting to use one. So I guess I'll use one, I don't know, sooner or later. 
Not too good. 282. Good, good hit, Mario. Who's gonna gonna level up next? Gino in three. So Gino's very close to a level up. Okay, gonna be honest with you though, I haven't the foggiest of clues what changed in Booster Pass. We stepped on like a, a switch or something, and the game was like something new has appeared on Booster Pass. And I have seen just zero evidence of that. Uh, and so that is a little confusing because I was looking for something big and obvious, like a new pathway or something. And I don't know if it's just been so long, I don't remember what Booster Pass looks like, but I truthfully don't know what we've got going on. Also, I've been staring into the camera a lot this video. Hope you're doing well. That was a dumb smile. Uh, Gino gets magic, I guess. Just because. Okay, so defeating all three of those enemies didn't do what I expected. Um, is it maybe down lower? Is there something new down here? Ah, this looks new. Hold on, let's go into here. There we go. Oh, you know what? I think what it w Hello? Shyster? Apprentice! Golly, you're that famous Mario guy! If I beat you, they'll make me snister number four! If I'm lucky... Oh, okay, so we, we have an encounter with the Apprentice. Okay. What an encounter. What? Now it'll make me the training course all over again! Make me take the training course, is what he said. Darn it, I fell. It's okay, Spikies, they're kind of baby enemies. I should be able to chomp right through them. Two for one special, plus an attack up for the enemies that I have, don't have to defeat anymore. So that's cool. Let's see what's over here. Oh, prizes galore. We got a Hiroka Cola, a frog coin, and an FP flower. Not that bad. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate that, and I'm glad I stuck through uh, and found where that was, because it was not immediately obvious, but persistence always pays off. Uh, unless it's like a... Don't take that advice if it's going to make you go to jail for stalking. All right? Hey, got to say it. Got to get my legal disclaimer. Let's go to Star Hill and talk about the video game instead of nonsense elsewhere. Ooh, pretty. Need a thumbnail pick. Okay, what do we have here? To marry more. Talk to the flower and the stargate will open. Okay, so this is the Kingdom Hearts door for this area, right? Uh, that's what that is. What do we have here? To Star Hill. Uh, okay. Hello. Oh, wait, so hold on, wait. So let me go to Marymore first, I guess. I've already been to Marymore, but will this take me to a new area of Marymore? Or what? Ah. Got it. It did, um, nothing. Let me know if I missed something. Because it seems like I walked through that door and it, it kind of just did zero things. So, this is doing something at least. This is Star Hill. Wishes, which are transformed at the Star Road, fall to here. But, some wishes that haven't been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed the Star Road. The Frog Sage mentioned a star piece on this hill. Let's see if we can find it. Good idea, let me squish this gecko first. Oh, that's a big gecko. That's a Master Doom. There we go. Ooh, a bit of a strong enemy this year, Master Doom. Not that strong. And Peach just slapped this guy. Good, triple slap. Bang, bang, bang. Very good. We got a mid mushroom. Mid. You you kids love to say mid. Hey, get back here. What? Are, who are you? Give me... Get, get here. He ran away. He got away. Arr. Interact with all these flowers. Give me this guy. Okay, we got we got a lot going on here. All right, so let's let's break out the good abilities here. Very good. Honestly, Peach, not seeming to be a, a super great uh, ally to have for everything. Oh, super! There we go. Two, four. Oh, and I hit him for weakness. That's good. She just doesn't seem to be incredibly useful in times when we don't need a heal. And so I'm almost thinking I should switch her back out. She seems like a... Almost like a worse Mallow. I am going to switch her out, which is a bit of a shame. Well, actually, what I'll do right now is I will use her group hug ability to raise everyone's HP back up. And then I will use uh, my flower tab to raise my, H my FP by one. 
And now I will switch her out for... I guess I'll put Mallow back in. Hello. Oh, you're an enemy. You're a, a throper. I didn't want you to be an enemy. I wanted you to be a friend. I don't know why he had to be an enemy. He's such a goofy little guy. No, he's so adorbs. I don't want to have to smack him, but I'm going to because I want whatever he's going to give me. That is so sad. Okay. You know what I haven't tried in a while? And I'm not, I guess I'm not going to try it now. Is Mario's jumping. You can get a chain jump. But I just was never good at landing it. And so I kind of just gave up on it. And I feel like I want to ungive up on it. But I haven't yet. Uh, okay, so what do we got going on here? We got another... Oh, wait. We can go around this. Gotcha. There we go. Probably have to interact with more... Uh, flowers in order to get that door to open. I was looking around. I'm like, well, I interact with all the ones that I can see. There you go. My controller rumbled, so I bet that means we can go through the Kingdom Hearts door. Kingdom Hearts is a great game series, by the way. Even if you aren't like a, a big Disney fan or a big RPG fan, um, you should at least listen to some songs off the soundtrack, particularly um, Dearly Beloved, I think is the title theme. That one's kind of calm, kind of chill. You can listen to it forever, though. It's not one you can, like... You know, it's... it's it's It serves, like, one purpose. And that one purpose is... Um, being the title theme. There's also the Twilight Town... Noon theme, I think it's called. Like the... Like the, the Roxas theme from, uh, from Twilight Town. That one's good as well. That one's got a very, like, somber kind of bittersweet tonality to it um and then there's simple and clean which is like a kind of a crazy like pop like upbeat hyper pops not hyper pop but it's i don't know it's like a it's, i think it's like a j-pop song i feel like that's fair to call it that so listen to those three even if it's just little snippets all right rpgs can have some great games that's one thing or great games can, uh, great music is what i meant to say one thing about RPGs is a lot of people will count out RPGs because they don't like the genre, which is totally fair. Like, I don't blame people for not liking the genre, you know? I mean, I'm kind of the same way with, um, uh, what's that called? Persona, right? Persona. People will tell you Persona. Great music. Great music. But I, I can't play Persona. I just, I don't think I would enjoy it. Never actually tried it, but I've seen gameplay footage, and it just doesn't seem like something I'd be interested in. But Xenoblade Chronicles as well, another RPG. Fantastic soundtrack. Have I been here before? I got too distracted waffling about Kingdom Hearts and its soundtrack that I, I legitimately don't know if I am retracing my steps or advancing forward. Hold on, I think I'm advancing forward because this looks like a star. Surely it's not that easy. Although, we haven't gotten a star in quite a while. We have done quite a bit of effort towards, um... I mean, we fought the... We got Peach. Like, that was a whole boss battle that we were never rewarded for. Thumbnail, by the way, potentially. Getting some options. Uh, okay. So that's four out of the seven stars, I guess. That easy, huh? Cool. I That's a... I was wondering last episode when things will like come together, and I guess the answer is now. Like we're just kind of closing that chapter of like booster pass, booster tower, marry more, and I guess it just ends with this. So a star piece fell here after all. Where to next then? I think there's a place called Seaside Town up ahead. I hear that it's a busy resort town, so the people there might know something. Let's go see. And Mario just says Wahoo. You've come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more star pieces. Good to know. Thank you, game. Tip of the hat back to you. Guys, if, 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 blah, 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 blah. if this video gets 10 likes, I'll wear a Mario hat next video. Huh? Who's interested? Who's excited? Who wants that to happen? Everyone? No one? Let me know. Like the video. I did that on a Zoom meeting recently. I was on a Zoom meeting. Um... I was I was serving as like a like an industry professional for some uh, students at my former high school. Uh, they're doing like an engineering project and they're doing it in, in the field that I'm getting my degree in. 
Um, and so I was on like a Zoom meeting with them and they were showing me their project and stuff. Cool stuff, because I remember doing a, a similar setup project or a similar pro a project that was set up similarly to them when I was in high school, which was four years ago, which is crazy. Um, but at the end, they're like, oh, we need a like a, a screenshot, right? So I went like this. As like a joke to get the, the, the thumbnail picture, the thumbnail picture, the screenshot. And there's like fireworks behind me. I was like, what the heck was that? Apparently something on the new like Mac OS or whatever just has that happen when you do certain things. You just get like uh, screen effects. So that was crazy. We're here in Seaside Town and this guy looks like a zombie. This is the inn. You may stay for free. Thanks. Okay. Thank you for the, the, the good night's rest. I appreciate it thoroughly. Oh, and thank you for watching me sleep as well. Hey! I saw that. I saw him watch me sleep. What do you, what do you watch me sleep for? That's my job. Okay. Well. That's interesting. Let's proceed to see if we can't find ourselves a bit of a shop. Or a series of shops. I'm just... A customer. Don't tell me you want supplies. I know. Okay, we can get a, a trofer cookie, a poison mushroom, a fright bomb, a fire bomb, or an ice bomb. Good for now, thanks. Thank you very much. So if you can't tell, everyone here is sort of appears to be in, in some sort of a trance. That's what I'm trying to convey with my voice acting. In the middle of the ocean is a pirate ship. You'll find a... I mean, there's a... Oh, what is there? A pirate lives there. His name is... Jonathan Fortnite. I mean, Jonathan Jonesy. I mean, Jonathan Jones. He isn't very nice. I'm still staring into the camera. Alright, a star's fallen into the sea, possibly, this guy says. I mean, that's, man, uh, Jonathan Jones probably has it. He's nasty. Thank you for the insight, folks. Uh, okay. Now, hold on. Were you, did you also sell equipment? No. I just wanted to see if I can get Princess Peach like a new something. I haven't given Peach much equipment. What do we have here? You may not enter here. This is a restricted area. I will say, I enjoy the concept of a creepy mannequin, okay? That's just a fact about me. I enjoy the I enjoy the concept of a creepy mannequin. I've been trying to find a horror movie about creepy mannequins. There was one called, like, Strangers or something, but I didn't think that'd be interesting to me. If you guys know any creepy, like, mannequins stalking people horror movies, let me know. These people are mannequin-esque. That's why I bring it up. Finally, it took you long enough. I'm the elder of this village. I got to my exalted station in life by pleasing my superiors, which is something I do well. A star has fallen into the ocean. I need it for a certain purpose. You must find it for me. All right, will do. Yeah, yeah, star in the ocean. I get your frog. Hello there, you're Mario, right? Do you remember me? We met at Tadpole Pond when I was still a tadpole. I've graduated from the Frog Sage's school, and now I'm searching for the meaning of life. It's been so quiet around here. It's almost eerie. Is something going on? It probably doesn't concern me, but if you have any frog coins, I've got some neat items to sell. Uh, we got a Sia, which allows you to run from battles, and an earlier times, which allows you to start a battle over. I'm gonna... Ooh. We also have an EXP booster. Coin trick to double the coins. A flowering that cuts FP use in half? We're saving for that. Holy, that's 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 a 50 coins purchase. I only have 26 frog coins. But straight cutting FP in half is massive. Chuck that on Mallow or, or someone else? I mean, that would be crazy. Get down from there. I can't do business with you up there. Well, yes, I can. You're collecting stars, right? Only three more to go. Thanks. Can someone please sell me like a new hammer or something? I, I need to feel the fill 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 feel the thrill of purchasing. By the way, that guy just said that I can find the elder elsewhere. 
they keep spinning and spinning. Okay, so no one wants to do business. No one wants to make money. Uh, they just want to let the economy stagnate. That sucks. It seems in general, though, everyone's sort of pushing us towards this pirate ship bobbing in the ocean. So I believe if we run out this way, we'll be able to leave the map and go towards said ocean pirate ship land. Let's see. Well, we have like a bit of an overlook spot here. But it doesn't appear like we can do too much at the moment. So I talked to the frog elder. I mean, if I just leave, will it let me go to a new place or what? Like what? How? What, what's our destination? It's obviously the, the ship in the middle of the ocean. But do we need a question of how we're going to get out there? We can go to sea now. What happens if we go to sea? I'm not a scientist. I will never claim to be a scientist. But that's a cave, right? You guys see that too? When you say sea, I think like the ocean. Like the beach. I think I'm looking at uh, inside the inside the planet Earth. Under the ground. That's a, that's a, called, it's called a cave. Uh, not called sea. Let me double check the map. Make sure that it did in fact say what I thought it said. I'll take a quick peek here. And yeah, that's that says that says C. I see a cave when I go there. So I guess next time when we play this game, we're going to go to uh, the cave, which uh, maybe the cave is called C. You know how like some people call their like cars like David. You know, like oh like let's. Let's 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 get David. You think like you're gonna get a person, but you get the 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 car. Uh, so I guess C maybe is the name of the cave. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I want to thank you all so so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. If you think they would enjoy it, it means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then. As always, take care.